talking to but you best believe I didn't come all the way here put on my just to look at you no I come to tell you God said he's going to do it oh. grab somebody by the hand we're going to pray God said I'm going to do it all I'm going to shout out a couple of things I'm going to steal this from your wife plus the 1.5 you know the point five. <laughs> I'm going to shout out a couple of things and I want you to respond when it hits you. Y'all ready? Amen. God said, I'm going to do it all. Amen. I'm going to fix the relationship. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I knew you weren't going to say nothing on that one because some of y'all sitting next to the very person that God needs to fix. So I'll give you a break on that one. I don't want to mess nothing up. Some of the other person is in this room right now so you really can't say, ah! But there goes another problem. He said, I'm going to fix it with your children. I'm going to reunite the family back together again. I'm coming to fix your finances. I'm going to make a way for college. I'm going to help you start that new business. The house you've been praying for all this time, you've been helping everybody get their rent paid, helping everybody with their moving expenses. God said, I'm getting ready to give you your own house. I'm getting ready to do it. I'm going to heal your body. That that the doctors can't find. You've been going to the doctor saying what's wrong and what's wrong and they give you your medicine and the medicine is not making you better. It's making you worse. But I hear the Lord tonight saying I'm going to fix it. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I hear the Lord say there are three people in this church that's getting ready to have the money that's been held up by the devil released back into your hands. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's some money in the house that you should have had by now. But God said the devil held it up, but I'm getting ready to release it because I am the God that can do it all. I'm getting ready to release. I dare you to open your mouth and give. I need a praise now. I need a praise. I dare you to open your mouth. I dare you to open your mouth and give God a shout. He's give God a shout. Give God a shout. Throw your head back and shout. Yeah. I'm done. I'm really up. I really am. Now, here's the thing. I like. Thank you. I you Here's the thing, and I'm going in my seat for real. Somebody gonna take the mic. Listen. Here's my thing. Here it is. You ready? Don't switch. Listen. You ready? The way you respond, hold it. The way you respond is going to determine how fast you get it. Now I need you to find somebody that you got a connection with. And don't find nobody that look like they ain't got no connection. If they looking like they stuck on stupid, you need to move on over. If they look like they don't know why they are here, you need to get somebody else. But I need you to find somebody and tell them, neighbor, I need your help. I need you to help me praise them. Because this praise right here is going to make the time wind up. This praise right here is going to bring my blessing. This praise right here is going to bring me through.
Don't let her run by herself. One, two, three, four.